Yo, what's up guys? This is Theo here. Welcome back to Introduction to C++ Part 37 here on SoloLearn.com. Everyone can code. So we're on passing arrays to functions. So an array can also be passed to a function as an argument. The parameter should be defined as an array using square brackets when declaring the function. For example, here this takes in an integer array and then a size. And here we're looping through the array that they give us and we're going to print out each index. Awesome. So uh, fill in the blanks to declare a function print array, taking two parameters. The first parameter is an integer array. Okay. And the next one is the size, int size. Cool. Uh, next up, we can use our function in main, the entry point to our console application, and call it for our simple array. Okay. So we're passing in the array, we're looping through it, and we're printing out the index. Uh, here you can see we're building out an array and we're using the object initializer to uh, you know allocate memory and spaces for it right on the spot and then we're calling the method we made print array passing in this array and then we're passing in three for the size awesome so the print array function takes an array as its parameter and iterates over the array using the array using a for loop we call the function in main which is where we pass the my array array to the function which prints out each index in the array. And remember to specify the array's names without the square brackets when passing it as an argument. Cool. Um, suppose you have a function print array that takes an array and its size and prints the elements of the array to the screen. Please type in the code to pass an array called my array to the function. Okay. So we're going to type in uh, my array. Let's run this. Awesome. All right, guys. So, a pretty quick lesson. That was it for part 37. Please subscribe and support the channel. See you in the next video. Take care.